Welcome back my wall tube family. It's Abraham from South Coast Walden Academy. And in tonight's video, I got the honor to introduce to you to a new member of the squad, Isaac. He's my twin brother. He's gonna be doing a 10 inch scheduled 80 pipe, uh, 2G position, and he's gonna be doing the lay wire technique. This is a video everybody has been asking for, so stay tuned. What's up guys? My name is Isaac Medrano. I am the twin brother of Abraham. I've been welding for about four years. I've worked in the plants. I worked at many shops. So tonight I'm going to show you guys how to do a lay wire technique with a 332 gap running from about 150 amps to 180. Now this technique is real fast, very simple. You don't have to back feed or anything. So right here we have a, a 10 inch pipe schedule 80 with a 332 gap. For this technique I like to do the lay wire technique. I like to run a high, high amperage about, about 145 all the way up to 180. Now, it's very important how you have your torch angle. You don't want to be like this, because if you're like this, you're not going to penetrate that good. You're going to get uh, sucked back in your root. You want to keep your tungsten straight into the pipe like this, and your rod, you don't want to have it like this because you're gonna get sucked back once again. You won't get the penetration that you're looking for. You wanna keep your rod like this and do not feed. All you're gonna do is do the lay wire. You're just gonna go over it. And your tungsten uh, stays pointing directly into the bevel. Now, you don't want to go all the way up too high up because then you're gonna get sucked back. You wanna keep your, your movements very, very small like this, very, very small. You're not weaving like this all the way up like that. You're staying right in between the gap, just like this. Just like that. Now, it's very important to have the right uh, size cup. The eight for this size pipe fits perfectly in the bevels. You don't get stuck while walking it. Over here, I have a size 12. Now this will be too big. You see how it just doesn't fit in there correctly? Now you can do it, but it's gonna take more practice. For this size pipe and this size schedule, the eight seems to fit perfectly fine. You're able to walk it just fine without any trouble. Say you were working on a schedule 40, a much thinner pipe, and the eight doesn't fit inside the, the bevel. Then, you would try the six. The size six cup fits very good like if you're working on the schedule 40. Even on this one, it'll, it'll work good. You're able to walk it without getting stuck. But I'm gonna use an eight. So here I have two tungstens. One has a sharp point. The other one, the point is chopped off. Now in order for this technique to work, you don't wanna do it with a tungsten being sharp. You wanna have your tungsten with the tip chopped off. And the reason being for that is because if you're doing it with a, your tungsten with a sharp point, you know, it's so hot and your arc is so strong that you're gonna blow a hole. Because you're gonna be facing it straight into the bevel. Now, when you're doing it with your tungsten tip being chopped off, the arc is not that strong and it spreads out. It's not gonna be centered right in between the, the bevel. It's gonna be all over it's gonna be all over here, over here. So you're able to do your, your root at 180 amps, 170. Even sometimes you could do it to uh, 200, 190. So on this side, I'm gonna run my root with the tungsten being sharp. On this side, I'm gonna do it with the tungsten uh, being chopped off at the end. So for this demo here, I put two tacks. I put one about six o'clock and one around 12 o'clock. The rod that I'm gonna be using is the 70S6. The 70S6 works very well with this technique, even the 70S3. Now the 70S2, you can do it, but it's a little bit more tricky it's because it's a dirty wire. For this technique, there's no need for a landing. Now you could put one, but it'll probably be a small one, like a 16. You don't wanna put too big of a landing because if you do, then you won't penetrate.
I like to run a high amperage about, about 145 all the way to 180. Now, it's very important how you have your torch angle. And do not be. All you're gonna do is do the leg wire. You're gonna go over it. And your tongue is uh, stays pointing directly into the bevel. Now, you don't want to go all the way up too high up because then you're gonna get sucked back. You wanna keep your your movement very, very small, like this. Very, very small. You stay right in between the gap, just like this. Now guys, you see this crease that I got in the middle? It's like a, it's a fine line. You can see it right here, all the way through. Even all the way around. You can, you can see it over here better too. This line right here in the middle, goes all the way around. Now that line tells you that you penetrate it and that you burn both walls. Whenever you see this line, you don't even have to look inside. That is telling you that everything is good and you're ready to go. All right guys, on this side, I ran at 170 amps. Now from here to here, I turned it up. I turned it up to 180, 10 more amps. Let's see how it goes. I'm about to tie in. There goes the tying. Now I'm finna pop off. When you wanna pop off, you pop off to the side. You don't wanna leave a f***ing crater hole. Boom. Too fast for the camera. <laughs> this is how it looks on the inside. Now, it's flushed to a 16 of penetration. That's all you need. Remember, all you need to pass x-ray is for your walls to be burnt. No suck back here. Everything's 100%. Now, you see how that really looks. It's perfect. All right, guys, for this side, now I'm, I'm gonna use the tungsten that is chopped off. I turned up my amps to 200 amps. Now, don't be scared to blow through. Remember, the tungsten's chopped off, so it's gonna be difficult for you to blow a hole. Now, if you stay there on one spot for too long, you will blow a hole, and you're gonna be screwed. You're gonna fail x-ray. You're gonna get a big-ass lump. All right guys, when doing this technique, it's very important, very critical for you to pull off on the side. If you don't pull up on the side and just pop off in the middle, you're gonna leave a damn pinhole. And if you're not careful, when you restart, you might not burn that pinhole out and you will fail x-ray. That's why it's very important for you to pop off on the side and when you restart on your route, start about half an inch back. Don't start off right away where you popped off because you might leave a pinhole and if you don't burn it out, you're gonna, you're gonna, bust, you're gonna have a busted x-ray. Now, I'm about to do my last tie-in. I'm about to feather this tack right here down and then just tie in, that's it, it's very simple. If you guys can see, you can see the line in the middle once again. You see this line right here? That crease in the middle, that's telling me that my root is well penetrated. I burned both walls 
and I don't even have to look inside. I don't have to waste time looking inside, you know? This process is very fast and it's very easy once you get it down. I remember being back in the plants when I was working back in the day and I used to like doing a 316 gap, but that just takes too damn long. You know, you wanna be fast. You wanna stand out from everybody else, from all the other welders. Now this technique, you're gonna do your root for, for this size pipe, an eight inch, I could probably do the root in, in less than five minutes. If you're working on a 24 inch pipe on a 2G, I could probably do it in 10 minutes. You know, it's way, way faster. You're not sitting there uh, back feeding, taking forever and shit. When doing this technique, you gotta have common sense. If you're burning very hot, while, when doing this technique, you shouldn't see your puddle too big. If you see that it's too big, then that means you are not penetrating. Your puddle should not be that big. It should be a small size. If you see that your putter is coming all the way up here, then it's not pushing to the back. And you gotta stop, turn it up some more. That's how you know if you're penetrating or not. If, you're, if your puddle is small, then you're for sure breaking both walls and pushing at least a 16 of reinforcement to the back of your root. All right guys, doing this technique does not give you a lot of reinforcement. It gives you about a 16. But remember, all you need to pass the x-ray is for your walls to be burnt and to have at least a 16 of reinforcement. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. But damn, that was fast.